So I, I bought a bunch of equipment to do better videos with. and uh, But at the end of the day, like, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. I mean, I'm spending way more time than I ought making videos um, in between meetings and um, during lunch and, and things of that nature when I'm, when I'm working from home. So um, if I try too hard to put too much production value the way that I want to do it, then I, then I won't actually do it and then I won't put the content out. So I, I think that we're just going to all have to be okay with me making crappy videos. Um, but the topic of today is, is basically freeform sliders. So I've got uh, some, some miscellaneous ones here. I've got the Compaform. I've got the, the uh, Modus Works. And, uh, and then, oh, hey, that was kind of cool. And then I've got all, all the Magnus stuff up here. So, uh, I want to kind of move quickly. Um, my, my favorite, um, of the Magnus are these rails. Um, they're nice and thin. They have the right pop. They have the right magnet strength considering the weight of the individual components. Um, dialed in, love these. These are well manufactured. Um, I, I've gone on and on about these uh, at various points in times. I I really like the Wide Boys as well. This was my intro. They th they cut into my hand a bit here on my finger, and so that's kind of why I don't like them quite as much as the Rail. They're a little heavier. They're a little thicker. They're a little more than what I want in my pocket, um, but they're good nonetheless. Um, I do these hybrid things where I, I kind of mix and match um, and do not mix and match two, two, two click sliders and three click sliders. That, that is heinous and wrong and you should not do that. Um, but anyway, um, these are, these are good. It's better like this because it's not cutting into my hands and that's good. I, I really do like that. Um, the dimple, man, this is a close second. So if I had to rank them right now. I would say uh, this is my ranking, one, two, three. Uh, you know, very, very close to each other. It, it all has to do with comfort level and thickness and, and those kinds of things. These are subjective things. Some people like much heavier. Some people like stronger magnets, you know. Um, these are, are very strong magnets. I think these are good. If you haven't seen EDC Fidget's review of this, it's, a, it's, it's, it's excellent. It absolutely uh, communicates my thoughts about about the uh, the dimple, um, so go watch that. The toad I think is is my next favorite, but like I like the three, I like having more, and um, there's something that I kind of want to get to. If you notice, I've got I've got kind of tears, and the tears aren't necessarily about how much I actually appreciate and, and enjoy uh, the the different kinds. It, there is this weird thing that I've noticed in having bought too many, I guess too many is subjective, um, Magnus sliders is, is that some of them um, slide without any issue or problem right out of the, right out of the gate. So uh, let me I'll show you this one. This one slides perfectly fine. There's no issue, right? Um, the peak, it's got the Teflon plates. Um, this one slides, no problem, been great, right out of the gate. Same thing with the, uh, I think this is the Robo. Um, but I think I might have spoke too soon, see? I, what is that about? It, it sounds like there's something crunching in there. I don't know what it is. So that's binding up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. The turtle is a very large two-click slider. I don't really like it, but this one slides without any problem. So that's cool. Um, got some sandwiches here. These don't slide for whatever reason. I can't even get them to slide. I'm not sure what's going on. So if someone knows why this happens to some of these, um, I would really like to know why sometimes they they feel perfect and glide perfectly and other times they're they're just chunky and clunky and and don't actually oh this might have been the one that was working okay yeah i think it is um yeah so i don't know what's going on i i think one of the things that you probably should do is buy new um if you can uh 
if if it's used, ask the person who's selling it to show you a video of them using it to make sure that you're not running into, into an issue. It should just completely slide without any problem. Now, what if, what some of it could be is that I actually prefer the Zerk. And so it could be that um, the, the, the Zerk is, has more problems than Teflon. I don't know. I don't care. I don't like the Teflon. I prefer Zerk. Um, this is one that I had to put tape on in order to even get working, but I think it's so beautiful that I was willing to do that, and I'm not really that worried about it. And what I do with this one is I actually, please come apart, thank you, is I use it um, like this, so it works out really well. Now I've got two sliders that I like. I took two sliders that were giving me trouble, and I've got two sliders now that I really, really like. So that's cool um and so magnus's quality is amazing the manufacturing is amazing i guarantee you that if i asked magnus to do something about the fact or whatever that he would gladly you know help out um in the meantime what i'm just going to do is just pass these on to the uh the fidget pass around group um and you know let let them have these so that they can review them and 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 talk about them and um and then maybe even fix them. I mean, like that would be great if they, if, 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 uh, EDC fidgets or, or, uh, uh, fidget focused or, um, big mitts and fidgets or, uh, lefty EDC fix these, that would be fantastic. But, uh, in the meantime, I don't, I don't really have time. I really don't care. I've got enough of these that I don't really care to, to spend time fixing them. This is more Magnus than anyone should have or need. So I'm not really concerned. Um, I do want to point out that these little rockers, I thought I would love them and there's a sense in which I do love them, but I don't know that I love them enough to, to like buy them, keep them, recommend them. They're, they're clunky and kind of a little bit weird making it so that, but that sound is pretty dope. So I will keep these. Um, but I don't know that I would buy those again. Um, I, you know, I think that, uh, Wow, that's that's the interesting question. So, um, these are the ones that if I lost, I would buy again immediately. These are the ones that I'm glad I own. I will not be getting rid of them um, here, and uh, you know the same for these, right? So those are the three the three categories. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. Uh, the these are the ones that uh, that I would that I would definitely one hundred percent buy again. Um, if I only had one Magnus, it would be the the zirconium rail. Um, I think this is slightly edges out the titanium because it has a little more weight, um, but it's a less weight and less thickness than this, and it does everything this does for me with uh, with less pocket stuff. So there you go. There you have that. Um, Modus works. They, uh, I think they have two models right now, the SGS and the SGI. Um, the SGS is made from a, a single, this is just uh, CNC'd and um, machined so that it looks like it has a little uh, a ledge here and a lip. But these are, these are two piece, the, just the sliding surface and the top. And then the SGI, the I stands for inlay. And so this is a micarta, micarta with on uh, oiled slick zirconium, and then this is oiled slick z uh, zirconium on uh, copper. Um, and th these are so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Yeah. So um, these are these are good, but like I don't know why I would get this, you know, over the over the rail. Um, other than the fact that I've never had any problem with any of these modus works sliding perfectly. I think it has something to do with their maybe aesthetically less pleasing surface, but you know, functionally, I've never had any problems with any of the ones that I've gotten um, from modus works in that regard. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how much to make of that, but that's that. So, um, but this, this is the one um, I would replace uh, well, I've got two, so I don't need to, but, but like if I didn't, if I only had one of the, the SGIs, I would replace them. 
you can actually get them you can actually uh, get them custom made um, by Modus Works. Uh, and uh, I would not replace this if I lost it, but I'm glad I have it. So that's that. If I could only have one, um, obviously I, I really like this one because the micarta is lighter and the magnet strength ratio makes this almost impossible to screw up. And so therefore I, I enjoy and appreciate this one the most. And so, yeah, so these kind of fit neatly in the, if I could only have one, if, uh, <laughs> if I lost, I would replace. And, um, if I lost, I wouldn't replace. So that's how I would talk about those. Um, those are fantastic. The, they had the whatchama, whatchama, what's it? Um, these tiny little things, I, I wouldn't replace them if I lost them, but I really kind of like them because they're just small and a little bit different and just something different for my hands to do. I don't know that you can buy these except, uh, aftermarket. So, um, don't worry about missing these. These really aren't. I tried all, I have uh, kits for both of these. I've tried all the different magnet configurations. The, the, the two, the, uh, three by two is the best. Um, the other ones are just too weird and, and don't really work right. Um, I really liked the paper Macarta on titanium because it's light enough to be really, really good. The, this, I guess this is bronze um is not is not as good uh and this one of these is bronze and one of these is paper my car and i'm just kind of noticing that there's a little bit of a a gap there so i'm not sure if i just have to screw these down maybe a little better or reseat them or something but anyway um these are good i like them you're not missing anything i would not replace them if i lost them so um let's talk about the miscellaneous ones before i go to the compliform ones uh, the Aztec, um, the stainless steel and the copper, I would imagine are, are just not dialed in, um, quite right. The amount of weight to, to magnet ratio is, is not dialed in as well as like maybe the modus works or even the Magnus. Um, if, if Cap is listening, I love you guys. Cap is king. Spinners are amazing. I love the Eclipse. I, I would not buy this again if I lost it. The the uh, Ultim, well, however you pronounce that, this one is better because the this is a lighter material and it has the same strength magnets. But the funny thing is, is I'm not sure I'm convinced that, uh, you know, the, the two by two or three by, is this one, two, three? Yeah, so the, the two by two, I'm not sure that this is really something I care about. Um, I prefer the, the, the rail and, and the, uh, SGI, the, you know, three up and, you know, uh, one over. So, um, the square is just, it's just not, it's just not as fun for me. Um, I have to think about it more and, uh, I, I realize you could probably do more things with it and it's probably because I'm not spending as, not, as much time, but I think it's on the form factor to compel me to spend more time with it the way that the other ones have. And, and it just hasn't. So, um, I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend these. Um, I would not replace either of these if I lost them. If you're going to get, if you really feel like you must have one, um, the, this high grade plastic one is, is the one to get because the, it's better dialed in. Oh, this brings me to this thing, which is the, um, 3d prints on um our 3ds prints on uh etsy um I, you know the the pass around group kind of has mixed take on this uh mel melwell um melwell i'm sorry melanie over at uh uh edc fidget um kind of likes it but agrees with me that the one from uh haptic 3d uh is is better the the, the thing about this is that it's it's good quality it's just that weird kind of sandy sound that it makes that drives me crazy. And the one that doesn't make that noise, um, the magnet strength isn't as good, so it doesn't work as well. Um, but like if, you, if you've if you never had a slider and you think that you might want to try one, but you don't want to spend money on any of these, um, the 3D Haptics one is, uh, or Haptics 3D on Etsy is the one that I would recommend. Um, but, but others in our group would recommend this one. Um, I think you could probably buy both for 40 bucks and, and then decide for yourself. You know, if this noise 
doesn't drive you crazy, then go for it. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then um, that brings me to the, the Cosmo. I think this is the, the yeah, Cosmo 42. Um, oh, wait, the 42 Cosmo. Yeah. Um, this thing is really good. I don't know why you, I would get this over any of the other ones I would get. It's slightly, um, the, the magnets are slightly weaker. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it, it, it's blasted Zerk, so it feels good in the hand, but this bottom side doesn't feel as premium. I think it's like a, like a high grade plastic or maybe Teflon. Um, it's good. It's good. If I, if I lost it, I wouldn't replace it. I'm glad I have it. Um, I will keep it. It's not going anywhere. Um, but that's this one. So, uh, yeah. So again, wouldn't replace any of these if, if I lost them. Um, it is what it is. Uh, even though these are modus works, which I highly, highly love. Um, wow. That brings me to the, the V2. Uh, this was called the Argyle. This is by Compaform. This thing is really good. Um, the manufacturing on it is bonkers. If you haven't watched the, the Compaform video on how these things are put together, um, the, it, they did it for the Clover, but I would imagine uh, the Argyle was the same. That's you know why you really can't even tell that these aren't just a single piece. These really are the, you know, Kevin from uh, Lefty EDC calls uh, Compaform the Ferrari of fidgets, and uh, I don't disagree. These things are really, really well made. High, high quality, high premium. The the version two is is not as well dialed in regards to magnet. I don't even, I couldn't even do that again if I tried. Um, as far as magnet strength is concerned, not quite as dialed in as the V3. So this is the Allure Illusion V3. And, um, Man, I gotta tell you, so we picked, the, I would not replace this, by the way. I'm glad I have it, not gonna get rid of it. If I lost it, I wouldn't replace it because the V3 does everything that does and more. Um, but so now we're looking at the, the three, I, you know, I, you've heard me call these the Trinity. I know that's somewhat sacrilegious, but whatever. Um, I, I love these all three. At any given point, I would consider one better than the other. Oh, I, sorry. So like, like as early as yesterday or today or, you know, it was a couple days ago where I said, this is my favorite here. <laughs> Haven't played with the V3. You can do this kind of a cool thing where you can put a V3 with the V2s um, and, uh, and you know, get a giant stack or you can get like a, like a halvesy. Um, that's kind of cool because these are uh, two-sided as far as magnetics concerned. These are not though. Um, I... I think, I think today this is the one. So like the first one, I, when I did the, you know, I, this one has my heart. This one has my brain because you can, you can buy these. You can actually get these. Um, this one has my soul. Um, and so uh, but I love the V3. I just ordered another one. Um, I would absolutely replace it if I could only have, if I could only have one Compaform item of all the Compaform items I have, it would be this. Um, yeah, and th this thing is just so, so, so well made. I, I love it to death, um, and uh, I would definitely replace it, so much so that I've already got another one on order, just in case. Um, yeah, so that's the sliders. I wanted to talk about the Weird Magnus stuff. I've already talked about these quite a bit, but I wanted to get them again. The the Whatchamawetsits, and uh, the Aztec, and the Cosmo, and the 3D printings. Um, yeah, that's it. So look, look for some of these with the rest of the, the fidget pass around group to to be uh, to be reviewing and checking out, maybe fixing, hopefully, and uh, that's it for me.